Stop wasting your money on red LED lights for skincare. There are a lot of these LED devices going around. They're super popular, but are they actually worth it? Well, I'm a medical esthetician and your acne big sister. And as you can see, I've purchased thousands upon thousands, if not tens of thousands worth of LED light products. I've also used some professionally in clinic as well as for different things such as skin health, such as actual burns on my chest and even hair regrowth. And there's a lot that people don't know about LED light for skincare. Care. This is the guide that I wish that I had had when I was younger because I spent so much money on really crappy devices. And even today, there's some devices that can be crappy or they can be skin savers. So let's break that down. And first off, does red LED even work for skin? The answer is a resounding yes, as long as it is the right wavelength and at the right power. Those are the two things you want to remember. You see, when it comes to wavelengths, we're talking about the electromagnetic spectrum. It's this beautiful spectrum. Wow. And this gorgeous spectrum can go from UV rays and gamma rays that can be really harmful all the way to radio waves that can be miles long. But within this electromagnetic spectrum, there's visible light, which is actually quite a small section that we can see. But on one end of that visible light spectrum is red light. And that is the LED that people are using in their skincare devices and hair care devices. And yes, there's actually medical science showing that it works. Red LED is specifically 620 to 750 nanometers, but the real sweet spot seems to be around that 655, 660 range. There have been multiple medical studies done on this, but they essentially look at shooting the right wavelength of red LED at the right power into the skin, and it can decrease inflammation, it can boost collagen production, and it can even help with hair regrowth if that LED is strong enough. And that's the main difference between regrowing hair with something like this very expensive but very powerful laser and LED helmet versus something that is a skincare device that is a lower power but still strong enough to stimulate collagen production. This is one of my favorites from Dr. Dennis Gross, and when you look at their packaging, they've actually done studies on how their LED penetrates and the results that it has. Now, if you're in the market for an LED device, but you want to save money, you'll notice that a lot of these are super expensive and that sucks. And you may be tempted to go for some of the things that are really cheap, like the Solar Wave, which is like on sale a hundred bucks versus the Dr. Dennis Gross that can be 500. Or even this Dr. Dennis Gross lip mask thing that kind of recently came on the market. And boy, do I have a review of this for you. Mm, we have a review coming. If you're not subscribed, you might miss it, but you don't want to. So you should, you should fix that. You're welcome. Yeah, you'll, you'll thank me later. So does it make sense to just save the money and buy something that's 100 bucks instead of 500? Well, there's nuance to this, and this is where we need to talk. Before you even look at which LED device, you have to know what you're trying to treat. Again, if you have concerns with collagen production, with fine lines and wrinkles, and skin health and elasticity, you definitely want to go for red LED light. But if you're like Cassandra, I've heard about LED helping with acne. Why is this not being part of the conversation today? Well, the LED light that helps with acne is blue light, which is completely different. Again, when we look at that electromagnetic spectrum, specifically the visible light portion, red is on one side, which is closer to infrared, and the blue is actually on the completely opposite side, close to violet and closer to that ultraviolet. So if you have acne and you're looking to kill bacteria, you need to look for blue light. And again, if you want a full roundup of what does and doesn't work for blue light, because I've tried that on literally every single one of my blemishes throughout the last decade, I've had acne for 15 years. Anyways, I've tried a lot of blue light devices. If you want a best and worst of those, let me know. But for now, we're only talking about the red light and specifically what you do need to look for. Now you may have seen things like amber light and orange light and green light and all of these other things. Those can be great, but there isn't a lot of medical data backing them up. And especially not the amount of data that we have for red light versus blue light. So that's just something to keep in mind. If a mask such as these two has those features, then great, more power to ya. But that's not something that I would go out of my way to get. So you've decided you want red light, again, a lot of people go for the cheap options because they think this is going to help them save more money in the long run. But I want you to think about how you're actually using this. This is the Solar Wave, which I have used and I do love for spot treating or for travel. Or check this out, this is the LED lip mask from Dr. Dennis Gross. When you're using this, this only targets a very specific area. Even when you're using this and you're rubbing it all over your face, most LED products literally state on the package that you need to use them for 10, 15, or 20 minutes in order to see results. If you're actively moving a wand like this, across the skin, you're not getting 15 to 20 minutes on every single spot on your face. Or if you're actively using this, you're only getting it for the lip area. There's also things like this, which I will say I actually love. This is from Skin Ink and this is an eye one. <laughs> it's specifically for the under eye area. It looks really cool and it freaks people out on planes or in grocery stores. <laughs> but honestly, this isn't doing a ton for the rest of my face. And for the cost, it's better to get things that treat something all over instead of these very particular spots. Now that being said, what if you don't have $500 for a 
ask like this or you just think it's ridiculous to spend that kind of money on something. Well, I fully agree. The good news is that even though you can get something inexpensive like this for a hundred bucks, there are options that are just less popular and they are cheaper. This is one of my favorite budget options. It's $119, it's from Dermabeam, and I think this works very comparably to the Dr. Dennis Gross. I don't see a lot of people promoting it. I think people can't make as much money off of it and it's not as easily accessible, but you can like get it off of Amazon. It still protects the eyes. It actually has multiple, multiple colors, just the way the Dr. Dennis Gross one does. And even though I do like this one better and it's a little bit more comfortable, this is still a fantastic option, especially for the price. Now that being said, if you're trying to regrow your hair and doing something like this, um, that's not going to work very well. Regardless of which LED device you use on your head, none of them are going to work for hair regrowth because again, they're not potent enough. They're not powerful enough. That's the reason that when you use these LED devices on your face, you're not growing a mustache or a beard because they're not powerful enough. This actually has a safety mechanism. So when you take it out of uh, or off of your head, it actually shuts off automatically. I guess there's sensors right there. So it won't even light up if you have it off of your head. But if I tried to put this on my face, this would probably make me grow peach fuzz, right? And that's why something this powerful should never be used on the face or on the skin. Now, the Iris Store helmet is one of my favorites. There are many others out there that I've seen. If you can find one that's at a less expensive price, I'm happy to buy it and try it, but I have been so happy with these that this is what I use, at least for my hair growth. And again, I've seen amazing results and I've spoken about that, but just remember that that powerful form of LED plus laser is very different than what we're putting on our skin. Now, let's say that you've heard about these devices and you're wondering if they're worth it or not, they're worth it for the right person. Again, I've spoken about how much I love this, specifically for travel and for my burn. Can you even see where my burn used to be? I don't think you can. It's because it's disappeared. This plus an eye cream, believe it or not, literally made my burn disappear in 45 days. And I thank the Solo Way for that. It would have been really hard for me to like hold a face mask here to my chest. Like that never would have worked. And that's why if you're someone who has minor blemishes or fine lines and wrinkles just in certain spaces that you want to spot treat, this will be perfect for that. And it is at a much more affordable price and you can travel with it. That being said, there was one time I traveled with this and for some reason I found that this doesn't work very well on planes. It like shorts circuits on planes. I'm like, what is going on? I was like, is it the air? Is it the radiation? Am I not using it properly? <laughs> if anyone knows the physics behind LED lights on planes, I don't understand how those two things would interfere. But every single time I've flown, I've had issues with my LED devices that even made my Dr. Dennis Gross one stop working help. That's another thing. If you really want to use a lip mask, I guess you could buy something like this. Again, I would personally recommend something that kind of goes over the mouth like this. That is my preference. Even this one doesn't. And I guess you could buy both of these and just, oh my God, could you imagine? But that's so expensive. This is like the price of a MacBook. Like, please, if you're looking to target a specific area, you could use this or this is decent and it's definitely fun, but it's really, really expensive for what it is. And this is the skin ink one. I know that the Dr. Dennis Gross brand has an eye one as well. Skin Ink has some great luxury products that are actually worth the money with some Japanese seaweed encapsulated technology, but this is just not one of them. And this is one of those LED products that, you know, I just don't think is all that special. I feel like a scuba diver when I wear this. Scuba, 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 where is Nemo? When it comes to saving your money, it all depends on your use case and specifically what concerns you're looking to treat. But again, if you're budget sensitive, you can find really good things that aren't a scam that are worth the money that don't cost as much as some of the expensive things. But if you're considering the expensive thing versus the budget one, think to yourself, am I someone who travels and I have minor areas that I'm looking to treat? Or am I just trying to get those benefits all over? And ask yourself, are you looking for a reduction of fine lines and wrinkles and collagen stimulation? Or are you looking for acne benefits? Because that is also going to be a completely different conversation. I think the hardest part about this is that there are so many people talking about the scammy ones online. I've actually spoken about how this is a complete scam, how it literally electrocutes your face and not in a good way. How things like this are just absolute trash. If you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. But just for the sake of repeating, if you see these, run away, run far, far away. <laughs> Whereas things like these actually get the cast pass. And if you have additional questions about LED, I will absolutely leave some medical studies in a pinned comment below, as well as additional resources. But please post a comment if there's something that I didn't answer and you still have questions about, or if you do want that video on blue light, specifically blue light for acne. Because again, when I was 16, the options for blue light and acne were very different than the glorious options we have today. I hope you find this helpful. I hope this helped you save some money. If that deserved your like, then make sure you like it. If you didn't, then no harm, no foul and move along, move along to this next video that I'd highly recommend. Always remember to reapply your sunscreen because the red LED does nothing to rebuild collagen if the sun is actively destroying it. And most importantly, always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. Love you guys. Bye.